Now your local weather authority forecast. Skies continue to be mostly blue across the basin for this morning in our live look at Odessa. Thanks to our roof spot, Nicholas Sky Tracker, we do notice not a single cloud on the Sky Tracker in Odessa. We're going to be seeing most of that throughout the basin today. However, a very slight chance of rainfall in parts of the basin. We did see that yesterday. Some storms have fired off, but did not really amount to too much. Ever since then, most of those storms have dwindled down in intensity with some leftover showers and clouds in the far western reaches of the basin for this morning. And yeah, did not really help out with the drought situation. The latest update within the drought monitor, these reds and darker reds indicate exceptional to extreme drought through out the basin, including Midland and Odessa. So despite us seeing some beneficial rainfall over the past few weeks, has not put a huge dent within the drought situation. The bigger story this morning is, again, the potential for some isolated storms west of the Pecos River Valley. We're going to see that places like Carlsbad, a very weak cold front. We do notice those north to south moving clouds igniting some showers and even rumbles of thunder near Carlsbad right now. But again, not amounting to too much. We do notice those winds from the north and southeast New Mexico. But otherwise, we have southerly winds taking hold throughout most of the basin. And that's going to really warm things up this afternoon in the mid to upper 90s and lower triple digits. So make sure you guys hydrate throughout the day and have the sunglasses out there. And also, jump in the pool or have the air conditioning on inside. Yeah, high temperature, 101 degrees in the tall city. That's a way above normal for this time of year. As much as 5 to 10 degrees above normal throughout the basin. Current temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and lower 90s. Mid to upper 90s and lower triple digits. Not just in the basin, but through most of Texas in those pink colored areas in the heart of Texas. But a little bit cooler in places like Marfa, Alpine, in the western part of our viewing area where they could be seeing higher chances of storms today. But pretty mild conditions overnight low temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Low temperature here in the tall city right around 77 degrees with mostly clear skies. Those winds fairly light out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour, but strong winds at times where we could be seeing some storms in the far western reaches of the basin today and also in places like southeast New Mexico, limiting those temperatures and yeah, it's going to be a little bit more humid in those areas, but dry elsewhere with some afternoon clouds and rain showers just north of our viewing area later this evening. But yeah, generally it will be mostly dry throughout the basin this evening, overnight, tomorrow morning. But that might change later tomorrow afternoon. Some isolated storms start to pop up again, this time closer to the Midland and Odessa area and also in the Trans-Pagos. However, it really won't limit those temperatures too much. High temperatures in the upper 90s, and lower triple digits once again tomorrow, but a little bit drier and again, once again, hot on Sunday at 101 with more sunshine than clouds and generally low chances of rainfall over the next few days. And that trend will stick around as we head to Monday. Hot, mostly dry, and yeah, pretty breezy at times. But those winds will really pick up with more clouds, more humidity, and higher chances of much-needed rainfall later next week.